This is your daughter you're talking about. Is it true you leaked Talia and Simon's wedding? Oh. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Seeing Off, the show with strong questions and even stronger drinks. Today we're here with Arthur TV. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. No. What? Imagine. What? How are we? Good, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. And very hungover as well. <laughs> this is our first the... hungover person. Really? Yeah, yeah. Really? Apart from me, yeah. Oh, wow. Have you watched this show before, Arthur? I actually haven't. I, I never watch <laughs> any podcasts. So... <laughs> Because things just go slightly more wrong. Right. So the way it works is each drink is a question. Ten drinks. Right. Ten rounds with Bambino Blatt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So my first question. How often do you think about the Roman Empire? I think, I, we, I was speaking to this about, um, about this with Reeve. I think it's a... Myth. No, I think it's true. We both were like all the time, like actually but all the what, time. What do you think about it? Like, what would you, what do you mean you think about it? R you know, roads, water. Yeah. Maybe you know, you're driving along the road. Are you not like, God, the Romans did a bloody good job of these. Oh my God, no. We were going down a road, <laughs> or you see a pothole and be like, if we kept building the roads like the Romans did, that little thing wouldn't be there. Cheers. 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 Right. So Arthur, mm. he loves a random fact. I Could do. you start us off with a random fact? You put me on the spot here. Can I tell you mine? Yeah, go on. You tell me yours. Right. So I realised this the other day and I came up with it myself. On an aeroplane, there's yeah. no row 13 because people are superstitious. And I promise you, every time you go on an aeroplane now, you'll think In about that. any aeroplane? No. Really? But then row 14 is actually row 13, so... I'm going to look next time I'm on one. And if, I, and if I find one, I'm putting on my story <laughs> and publicly shaming you. <laughs> All right, here's an interesting one that oh. I'm almost certain is true. Sharks have been around longer than trees. Have they? Yeah. And longer than Saturn's rings. <laughs> Saturn's what? They're getting on a bit. Really? Yeah. Sharks? So interesting. Well, this is why I don't trust them. Yeah. Mm. I'd never trust the shark as far as I can throw them. Ever since the last few TikTok videos of people getting eaten by sharks, I've become very like hyper aware of it. It's going to happen, isn't it? Me getting eaten by shark? <laughs> yes. Fair enough. How's that going down? Very nice, actually, uh -huh. given I'm a bit hungover. Give or take on a hangover, isn't it? Mm. It either mm. helps you or hinders you. Well, I was hungover when we did the Chris M D pub golf thing and I threw up on the second drink, didn't I? <laughs> I did the Sambuca. <laughs> spewing it's just everywhere. The way you came back and you were like, be sick. <laughs> Thoroughly enjoyable though. But then Arthur Hill started that series, the um, platform roulette. Oh, Have you that seen looks that? So Which fun. is so I fun, but that. he just tries to get us as drunk as possible because that's when the funniest stuff happens. You went to Cardiff, didn't you, on the uh... Yes, we did. How was that? W Welsh we? people are bloody lovely, you know. Well, They're very yeah, nice. We Everyone was just very friendly. What's a, oh, he had a bull gag put in. It was very what? weird. I wonder if it will make it in the video. Do you want to see a photo, actually? Do you yeah. want a behind the scenes exclusive yeah, look yeah, at him? Sure. Oh my God. There you go. Okay. That didn't go down very well. Oh, shit. Uh, so have you had this before? George Mimulus <coughs> loves this. Does he? He always brings it to a pre-drinks. Oh, a man of good was, taste. You know, turn up. Okay, oh, there you go. Oh, I look lovely. What's the worst shoot you've ever done with Chris? Cheers. Oh, you know Chill what? The hot versus cold. He made us go oh into. God, yeah. We were in the deserts of Dubai, <laughs> and it was, I swear, like 40 degrees at what? like 5 a.m. YouTube's mental. Isn't Not it? even for a video, for a single YouTube short. He puts this golf gigantic cone at the top of the sand dune and goes, oh, it would, you know, take 15 minutes. We sort of started a few hundred yards away. We were on about hit 25, like dying, dehydrated. You know, it, it was yeah. awful. And we were like, what are we going to do? And um, <laughs> we were we just kicking do? it. It was coming either back down, which means you want to kill yourself, or go up <laughs> and roll down the other side because it had too much momentum. It was insane. Oh, no way. But yeah. we did get to experience Dubai, which was quite cool. Because I'm not sure if that's a place I would go yeah, if it wasn't no. for a video shoot. I it don't was think quite I interesting. Full of influences and people mm. popping on each other. We. Oh, actually, can I tell the story? <laughs> not a close friend of mine. Someone oh, okay. I'm guessing we'll both consider probably acquaintances. Danny Aaron's. I think, um, no. <laughs> okay. A woman. They got wined and dined and taken out on a very expensive yacht, taken down to the bow? What's the bow? <laughs> bow. <laughs> and someone unleashed their bowels on him. What? On her. I think she basically offered 20 grand for this very, very rich man to poop on her. Would you do that for 20 grand? No. Oh. I don't think I could. It's one of those that would stain that's your a, that's memory. A brand would you do it for 20 grand? <laughs> No, <laughs> ten. <laughs> um, so that was the worst. 
But I won the pub golf, football golf. But you didn't win the pub football that we just filmed. No, God. <laughs> Germany. Many L's were taken that day. i got to ask a few questions about it. Who was the weakest link out of everyone, aside Kieran from you? Carlin. Oh, do you think? He couldn't, because he can't drink anything fizzy. Mm. So every time there was a drinking challenge, the majority <laughs> of them were beers and stuff. Who would be the worst social media person to have in your team? Probably just very small, slender people. <laughs> I think maybe like Cal the Dragon might not be amazing at downing a pine. <laughs> oh, but it would be good for He's got many talents, that man. You kept mentioning people had the dog in them. You've got uh. the dog in them. <laughs> ah! Oh, Who yeah. had the most dog in them? Oh, that's a good... Harry is just built different, isn't he? He's just got... He's got a very calm pit bull in him. Like, he, he can just drink the most obscene amounts. Like, he was saying it in the video. It felt like everyone's dad was like... Uh, well, if you see Harry drunk, you just know that he must have had an outrageous yeah. amount of alcohol. Cause, yeah. But by the end of that video, he was... You could not... He was he, fine. Yeah, he could drive in a straight line. Well, I ended up in the ladies' bathroom. I don't, Do you remember didn't that? remember that, but... That was fun. I don't remember that at all. I once went to a Burger King and the men's toilets were shut and I just really needed to pee. And, then and I asked Mr. Burger King. I was like, <laughs> sir, your men's toilets aren't working. Like, is there any chance I can just use the disabled or the ladies? He was like, the disabled's out of, out of order as well. Oh, but it's no. pretty quiet just going to the ladies. Oh, like, no. it's just cubicles. And I go in and I come out and I'm washing my hands. And this lady barges in <gasps> and just goes like, what are you doing what? here? And I was like, oh, sorry, like the men's is broken. She went... Okay, and I was like, why was she so mad? Shuts the keyboard door and shits her guts <laughs> up with the loudest thing ever. Oh my God. Because it was literally just like, ah, oh, slam the door. <laughs> <laughs> I was like. And it was me. Yeah. It, it was, was me. And that's when I met Bambi, you know, <laughs> Becky. They're the only times I've gone to women's. This sounds like I'm a serial, <laughs> serial women's toilets I enjoyer. I feel like I'm it not. might be something you like to do. <laughs> the beer use her use her i would never use a woman <laughs> Actually, unless it's the not, toilets <laughs> no yeah. right the chaos crew always chaos mm. always chaos what is the worst thing that's been cut from one of your collabs <laughs> drink and think drink and think um to be honest it, it's nothing that anyone will be like that's Surprise. genuinely an evil thing to say okay most of the stuff that gets cut is just like youtube tos so i think Terms of service. Terms of service, yeah. So like you're just like you, you can't get away with it and get monetized. Are you gonna down that? No. Nah. Should we down it? Let's down Let's it. Down it. You're only here once. Yeah. Unless you get what does us that mean? back. <laughs> you're not coming back. Have you ever been to Siam Park in Tenerife? No, I've never been to Tenerife. Hmm. I'm a big fan of the Canary Islands though. Yeah, that was where I ended up. I don't know if you ever saw the Freezy did it Freezy did a video. <laughs> um Freezy. Uh, <laughs> Freezy did this video where it was like we started in London and had to get as far away from the point as possible in 24 hours with no money. Didn't you lose your passport? No, Rory Jennings did, right. actually. And you went on your own. Can I tell a little story? You can tell a little story. Actually, will Rory be mad at me? <laughs> Obviously all the cheapest flights are in Europe because you start going anywhere further than Europe. It's, the flights are just extortionate. So we had enough money to get a cheap European flight, which yeah. what everyone else did. But Canary Islands was the really obvious one because it's like, you know, off the coast of West Africa. It's like It's far. It's actually quite it far away. It doesn't sound far, but it is. No, it really is, especially given it's Spanish territory. And I was at Rory, there's only one way we can get that. We've got to get a 2 a.m. flight to Dublin, wait over for like two or three hours, and then at 5 a.m., mm. fly to the Canary Islands Sounds and get there like at like Robbie nine. Knox, does, and yeah. he was like, I'm not doing that. It's an experience. It, I spent, <laughs> must have been, an hour or two trying to convince what, him. What, he wouldn't do And it? he was like, let's just do sort of like an eight till nine o'clock flight to France. And I was like, there's no way we're winning if we end up in France. <laughs> like, And so I was like, okay, come on, we're gonna do it. And he, when he finally agreed, he went, mate, this is so annoying. My passport's expired. Uh, We've had a mess. What's happened? Mate, I'm actually coming out in a hot sweat. He's fucked it big time. You've not got it? I've got it. It's expired. You've expired your passport. <laughs> and, and he was like, you're gonna have to go on without me. Uh, I got on the flight and he goes, Mate, I'm really sorry. My passport wasn't expired. Oh my god! I just could not oh do the long no overnight <laughs> journey. I was like, Rory, you're my boy. Like, you're supposed to be with me. Like, so I was there just on my john. He was feet up watching Netflix in, while you were yeah, in Dublin. Yeah, I was three o'clock sleeping on a, a sofa 
in Dublin and there was no one in the airport. And then when, when Freezy, I told Rory, I was like, mate, like our team won. And the prize was like a free trip to Europe. He's like, so when are we doing it? And I was like, <laughs> mate, I'm not, br- I'm going on this trip and I'm bringing a mate. You were like, get and a new no passport first, mate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Renew your passport, dickhead. Edward Allen Brown. Who's that? Is that the the guy who jumped out of the aeroplane with a lot of money? Yeah. Oh, it's Big Ed's full name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well done. What is that guy called that jumped out the it's like a famous true crimey case? His name was like J D Cooper. J B Cooper? D B Cooper. He was D B Cooper. I thought that was him. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking miles on. I don't know where I was going out on. Right, there's a special guest. Oh. <laughs> this yeah. is where Big, Big Ed yeah. comes out. <laughs> what was that? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> so this is the Vita Coconut of Truth. Now, every time someone holds this, they tell me nothing but the truth. Oh, can you feel like the power? Kind of. There is definitely... <laughs> s- there is definitely something in Prison Break. That's... Put, that, <laughs> That's the, I'm trying to think of where Edward Allen Brown comes from. There's definitely some sort of like Edward Allen Brown in prison break. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. coconut time. Coconut time. This is fantastic for hangovers, which you've got today. Oh, dream. We should probably have some electrolytes. Right, cheers. Have Smells a go. coconutty. <laughs> Show out. Ooh, refreshing. <laughs> yeah? Ooh, really? It Even is nice. nicer than I thought it would be. No, that is nice. See, I tell, I tell people this. Oof. Nice. And also, they've been nothing but fantastic to us on this Shout show. Out Vita so we Coco. love them. Door, the Vita Coconut Truth. Put oh. your hand on it. Speaking of the Chaos Crew, I'm going to do some quick fire questions. Answer as your heart desires. Who's most likely to not leave their room for a week? Alex. <laughs> most likely to get an embarrassing tattoo? Ooh, Cam Kirkham. Oh, poor thing. The Geordies. Most likely to get arrested? Oh, good question. Arthur Hill. Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Most likely to approach a girl for their number. Oh, George Clarkey. <laughs> Most likely to urinate in public. Arthur Hill. <laughs> that, that's probably why he gets arrested. <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> really tied together. And most likely to get cancelled. Oh. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you. You've been some no honours. Oh, they were fairly reasonable They were okay, questions. weren't they? Okay, what's the... I was worried <laughs> there'd be things that the boys would be very detrimentally upset for me for saying. Um... Thank you. Who's Might your least favourite? No. <laughs> you requested this Southern Comfort. Oh, spectacular drink. With a lemonade? Indeed. Okay, you pour the you pour the Soko. I'll pour the Cheers. Locked Cheers. in. Yeah. Oh. We've both done locked in. Mm-mm. We both put our mind, body, and everything else into it. My question is, would you go back in? You know what? It's one of those experiences that is like... Well, it, it, it's very dependent on the people you're in there with. 100%. I loved it. I, I actually did. I like. Did I, I really enjoyed every second of it. It was so fun. <laughs> I loved the, like, being completely detached from technology. Mm. A huge fan. Yeah. And not yeah. sitting there going, like, oh, that's kind of my job. I have to be checking this. I have to be checking this. Just being like... Relax, constantly. make friends, hang out. Yeah, and you were also like, oh, this has been posted every night, so I got no yeah, do exactly. anything. I'm making yeah. content and I'm not having to <laughs> think about it. it I was... met one of my best friends, some joke man, Aww. on it. Like, Yeah, I know. love that you still hang out. Yeah, we still make content together. Do I see anyone from my series? No. Who would be your dream housemate? Out of anyone in the world? Mm. David Attenborough. Oh, wow. <laughs> For two weeks. Actually, one. I bet that old prick snores like a... <laughs> 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 <So>. <laughs> Forget him. Separate Oh, you know what? Do you know Theo Vaughn? Yeah. He would just have stories for days. Okay. Who would be your nightmare housemate? Oh, that's an interesting one. It is an interesting one. <laughs> Maybe Elphaba. Because she, she loves to just break out in song. Something has changed. Yeah. <laughs> that's what she's going to start. I would just be like, if some people that burst out loud, loud singing, singing. which is kind of bad because I sing at home. If I'm like doing yeah. the dishes or cleaning the house, Singing. I love a little sing song. What's your favourite song? Sing. Good question. George Michael, Careless Whisper. <laughs> Is it? Um, yeah, Tonight the music <gasps> no. seems so loud. No, Go on. Extra for that. Who pissed you off the most? In Locked In? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joke man with his snoring. There we go. Media train. Back to the beer. 
Thank you, Bristol Beer Factory. Oh, she's heady. Okay, too much head. That's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, now then, we have a special guest. Another one. <laughs> Ooh. Big head time. Oh, here he comes. It's the ghost of Twitter fans. Oh, woohoo! Oh, this won't be fun. Well, 6th of February, 2022. Where were you? Emotionally preparing for another Valentine's Day alone, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Is that so? Okay. If every single person on earth entered a knockout rock, paper, scissors game, you'd only need to win 33 games in a row to be crowned world champion. That is, that is a, a fascinating fact. And rock, rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Yes. Come on. 32 to go. Yeah. 27th of March, 2022. Okay. You Googled. I must have been in an embarrassing era because that's about <laughs> two weeks beforehand. You Googled the following. I was in my cringe era. Go on. Is sex between an adult and their adopted child illegal? Oh, okay. This one has. Sorry, a... adopted adult child. There we are, makes it Adopted better. adult child, yeah, yeah, obviously, that's quite significant. Yeah. But I was going to say, you should probably preface what videos you do. Yeah, so I'm saying like, oh, So I, like? obviously do, I do TV commentary, and the most insane TV series yeah. came on, on uh, I think it was A&E, about adults adopting adults yeah. and annoyingly the premise got ruined because there was this one guy in it called Danny <laughs> Danny Danny boy it was a 10 episode series <laughs> and they stopped airing after the third episode because it was so insane this guy ad decided to adopt with his wife both in their mid 50s right. adopt this 19 year old Austrian girl who's S pregnant but the guy clearly fancies the girl oh, he's adopting no. So the girl flies from Austria right. to America. Welcome. And they're writing a welcome home sign. Mm. And the wife goes like, what should we say on this sign? And he goes, I know what mine would say. Welcome to Ohio. Where's my blowy? And, and the <laughs> wife's like, oh this is your daughter you're talking about. The final video on the series is me just going through all these insane conspiracies. Is it's, it? It's the most insane I gotta thing ever. i got to watch that. I've not seen it. Oh, how's things anyway, Arthur? In what sense? Not just in life. Not good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have covered so many iconic characters on your channel. Big Ed being one of them. Mm. If you had to live with one of the 90 Day Fiance cast for a year, who would it be? Oh, that's a good question. Drink and think, darling. Out of all of them. I like the view. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, now I'm scared. Tell you what. I don't want to do it anymore. Don't want to do it anymore. I don't Big want Big Ed to... is awful to women, but to men. <laughs> so I would love to live with him. We got so many of the same. It would thoughts. be f it would be jokes living with him. Or huh? Muhammad Jabali, or or Aladdin. Why? They're both like th quite similar. They're quite like boy boys. Guys, we've got an extraterrestrial prop. <laughs> it's it's Arthur! Arthur! Yeah, extraterrestrial. Yeah. It's an aardvark. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's not an alien. It's the spinning wheel of death. Yay. I'll spin for you. You spin. As the host. Oh, you got to do a forward roll. <laughs> Is that actually it? Oh, yeah. Great form. This is for me. Basically, that's, I pick one to give it to you. Do it. Okay, so I'm gonna give you. Yo. I'm gonna give you the short straw. What the hell is the short straw, you ask? Bring it in. Isn't this the most fun you've ever had? Yes. So far. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! No, no, you you gotta put it back in. Oh, oh. That tastes like the divine taste of Vita Coco. Yay! The winner with a chicken dinner. Oh, she's tasty. <laughs> What's that? A straight gin. Yeah! Ready? Fine. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, you cut me in half. When I say, hey, hey, hey what a what wonderful a time of day. Where you hey. can learn to walk and play. Oh, you gotta roll again. And get along <laughs> with each other. <laughs> What's wrong? Forward row. Do another oh. one. So guys, you have to leave. How about if you just quit a job that you don't work at? Right, Crispy's Harrow Road. It's a chicken shop. Hello, Crispy's. Hello, is there is there a manager there that I can speak to? Are yeah, you calling from like uh, any company or from any shop? I, I really like chickens for some reason. And so I was like, oh, I want to come work at a place that involves chickens, but 
then it tr I, I start I started realizing that I was, it really upset me the idea of them potentially being dead and being eaten. Huh? Huh? We don't have a thing, uh, any space for the new stuff. Yeah, that's fine, because I was going to drop out anyway. It just like, I, I was watching videos of chickens the other day, he's hung up. <laughs> that was so weird. That was so weird. It's quite nice as well, it just sends no jobs guy. <laughs> if you live in Harrow, go buy some chicken for Crispy's Please, Harrow Road, Crispy's just to make Harrow up for them, because that guy's very nice. I'm so sorry, like, that's, I hate that shit. <laughs> that's what, what, who the fuck is this guy? Whoever wrote the wheel needs sacking. Yeah! It was so near I quit as well. Oh my lord. So go. So, so go. It's like the end of Titanic. So go. <laughs> so you are constantly on my TikTok, but you don't even do TikTok. Not really. So you get a lot of fan edits. <laughs> oh goodness. Girl, they love you, don't they? They I do love like you. a good fan edit. They're very enjoyable to watch. I realized yesterday, two days ago, I was on the plane watching fan edits of myself. I've got about four. Make some more. Yeah. I, it raises my confidence. Make some of me and Becky today. Come Let's on. Go. Yeah. Oh. I want to know, despite all your lovely, lovely fans out there, yeah. what's the worst interaction you've had with someone who watches your videos? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, cheers, dragon thing. But there was this Brazilian girl who's from London. I hadn't face revealed yet, but liked the sound of my voice. Mm. And she was messaging me all the time, just like, come around, like, I want you, all this kind of stuff. <gasps> there was one night where they must have been drunk because she messaged going like, I don't care how ugly you are. <gasps> I, I know you don't show your face, but I love the sounding voice, I love your personality, all this, uh, the stuff that comes across on videos. She was like, put on a mask, I'll come around to your house, oh, fuck me, <laughs> and then I'll leave straight away after. And I was like, this is insane. Well, we, we digressed, George, made me less. Mm. Oh, the amount of people I mean, who, apps, there's edits, people are like, yeah. I fancy him so much, and I'm like, you have not seen his face. If you saw his face, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, he's a good, he's a good boy, looking, handsome he's a good boy. fellow with but great what eyes. <laughs> well, what? kissed him of you. Huh? Oh. <laughs> it's the final straw. So I will take these uh, recently used glasses. I would like you to prepare a concoction out of all the drinks we've had so far. You could even put a little Get tequila patron and Jeez. we both drink Gender it. Gender equality, women we can be bosses it. too. Bro. Come on, not you, but some women. What's your initial thoughts on women? God, that's a lot. Initial thoughts <laughs> when, I came out, when I came out of my mum's tummy. <laughs> Every time you look at Finney, he's doing some fun. Look at him now. Oh, look at me, I've got my swing back chair. <laughs> Let's add some potassium. Yes! And C. Get those electrolytes, that's gonna curdle. Okay. Shit. This is the toughest question of the evening. Is it? Is it true you leaked Talia and Simon's wedding? Oh. <laughs> I mean, I, you know. Drink yeah. and think, okay. babe. Drink and think. So. So I probably haven't probably explained this, but. What is this? Do you watch, um. Theo's England versus Scotland videos by any chance? I probably have, yes. I okay. watch all of them. They're good. So that he does these videos where we go to Scotland and then we were in the airport leaving. Can you like, it's actually my wedding this weekend. What? The weekend coming up. And you I was said, like, oh, that's where cool. was my invite? Yeah, no, he doesn't know me like that, sadly. And, uh, you know, the weekend came along and it was Man United Arsenal. So I asked Chip and Chris, I was like, what are you boys up to? Let's go watch the game. And they're like, oh, we're at Simon's wedding. And so up until this point, Simon had said it's my wedding at the weekend. The boys said we're at the wedding. I didn't know anything was a secret. No one's saying. So I just happened to live stream that night. <laughs> and I was on stream and everyone asked that, who do you watch the game with? And I was like, oh, I didn't watch it with the boys. They're at Simon's wedding. Uh the conversation <laughs> swiftly moves on. The morning after, Chris is DMing me like, you leaked Simon's wedding. He hasn't even posted about it. No one even knows they're getting married. They got engaged like a year ago. And then Chris sends me a message you. that Simon had sent him being like, fucking... We spent all this time trying to keep it a secret. Arthur TV of all people. <laughs> and I was like, what does he mean by Arthur TV of all people? And there was some little like, yeah, yeah. some little divvy who was like, of course, that fucking loser. And, and he was very nice about it. He was like, don't worry, like I don't hold anything. But he was actually more annoyed at Chris because when Simon was like, 
Arthur leaked it. Chris was just pissing himself. <laughs> and Simon was like, why aren't you taking this seriously? We tried so hard. This show needs another guest next week. Let's think, who are you going to nominate? You know who I think you should get on? Yeah, Who's well, actually great crack and a lovely you. bloke? Italian buff. Yes! Get Isaac on. Bring the Lemoncello on and say, this is courtesy of Arthur. Keep this for him. Oh. <laughs> Hello, mate. Hi. Come on so, the show. Come on li live on the pod, w would you be willing to go on? Do you want to come on see it off next? It's great fun. Yes. Yay! Yes! Yes! That's my boy. That's my Italian boy. Bye. Love you. Bye. Arthur Hill. <laughs> I just feel like my wife said her ex's name in bed. Alpha TV. She just called me the more, more talented Arthur. Alpha TV, but I wish I had a full one. Um, I think we've had too much to drink. Um, see it off and get out of my pub. Yes. <laughs> oh. Let's just get out of here.